hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we'll be making this beautiful tiered off shoulder gown with tie back i'll be working on the half length of this dress first my paper is folded into four because i'm cutting both the front and the back together so the first line on my paper is the starting line. The half length of this dress is 15 inches. Because this is an off shoulder dress, I'll be minusing 5 inches from that 15 inches. So I'm going to be taking my vertical measurements now. I'm going to minus that 5 inches, then I'm going to start in putting my measurement from the starting line my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches which i just marked down from my shoulder to my waistline is 15 inches then i'm going to add one inch allowance to it then i'll take my ruler and connect those dots on a straight line Then I will label the lines, my boss point, my waistline and the allowance. On my starting line, I'm going to be marking down my shoulder measurements divided by 2. Then I'll move to my boss point and mark down my boss measurements divided by 4. Then I'm going to connect both dots together. And that will be my arm O. On my waistline, I'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by 4, which is 7 inches. I'm going to mark that same 7 inches on my allowance. Then I'm going to connect those dots to my bust points. Then I'll be adding 2 inches to it as my seam allowance. So I'm going to mark that 2 inches on my bust point and my waistline and I'm going to connect them together. Then I'm going to blend my arm O to the 2 inches. For my data, I'll be taking my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2, which is 4 inches. I'm going to mark it down on my bust point, on my waistline and on the allowance. From my bust point, I'm going to be coming down by 1 inch. Then I'm going to take my ruler and connect the dots together. I'm not going to extend it to my boss point. I will just stop at that one inch I came down by. Then I'm going to go in by half an inch on both sides of the dart leg. Then I'm going to connect them together. Then I'm going to cut out the parts that are not necessary from the paper. Before I detach both papers from each other, I'm just going to trace the dots on the other paper, then notch it. So I'm going to place this paper I'm holding aside as my front pattern. So let's work on the back now. So from my neckline, I'm going to be coming down by 3 inches. Then I'm going to connect it to my arm O area like this in a slanted way. Then from the bottom of the dress, I'll be going up by 3 inches, which I'm marking down. Then I'm going to mark down two inches at the side that is the allowance i don't want the back to be totally open so i'm marking down two inches if you want yours to be open you can just connect the three inches down to the 
edge of the paper but for me i came out by two inches and i connected that three inches to it so i'm going to cut out the side the that is not necessary for this back will not be having or will not be adding that to it so i'm going to cut out those sides or the sides that are not necessary from it Then I will split it into two from the center. So this is what both sides of the back is looking like. So this is the front part and I will just be adjusting the neckline. So I am going to come down by one inch from the neckline. Then I am going to connect it to the other end of the paper like this with my ruler. Then I'll cut that part out. So when I open the front pattern up, this is what is looking like. And this is what the back is looking like also. So for the down part of this dress, for me to get the width and the length of the fabric, this is the measurement I'll be using. The total length of this dress is 30. 38 inches i'm going to be minusing the 16 inches we we use as our half length from it when i do that i'm going to have 22 inches so from the 22 inches i'll be the one to determine the length of each of my layers for my own dress i want the first layer to be shorter than the second layer so the length i want the first layer to be is 9 inches so i'm going to minus the 9 inches from the 22 inches and when i do so i would have I will have 13 inches left so 9 inches is the length of my first layer and 13 inches is the length of the second layer I will just add 1 inch allowance to both of them so the first layer is going to be 10 inches and the second layer is going to be 14 inches long For me to know the width of the fabric I'll be using, I'm going to open my front pattern up like this and I'm going to measure the waist. Then I'm going to multiply that waist. I got 17 inches. I'm going to multiply it by 2. But if you want yours to be full, you can multiply it by 3. It depends on what you want. So when I multiply the 17 inches by 2, I will have 34 inches. So the width of the first fabric I'll be using is 34 inches and the length is 10 inches. So for the second fabric now, I'm going to multiply the 34 inches. That is the width of the first layer. I'm going to multiply it by 2. If you want yours to be full, you can multiply it by 3. What I have is 68 inches. So the width of the second fabric I'll be using is 68 inches and the length is 14 inches. So I'll be cutting out my fabric with my paper. My paper is placed on my fabric and my fabric is folded into 2. Make sure you add an inch to the length of your fabric and cut out the rest the same way with the paper. I'll repeat the same thing for the back. I'm going to add an inch to the length. My fabric is folded into two and I'm going to cut the remaining parts the same way with the paper. So for this part of the back, I'm going to be measuring the length. Whatever I have there, I'll make sure the rope I'm going to attach to that part is going to be the same width. I'll make sure it's as wide as that place. So I added one inch to the fabric as my hemming allowance. When I hem both sides in, I'll make sure the width is still the same thing. 
so let me quickly show you guys how the back is going to be i'll make sure i am both sides of the rope and i'm going to empty under also if you are adding a lining to it you can use your lining to turn it but for me i'm going to use a clothing bias and i'm going to m for the neckline and i'm going to m the down part i'll make sure i m the down parts for both for both the back then i'm going to attach this to it so these are the fabric i'll be using for the down part of this dress i splitted them into two each for the first layer i splitted into two one for the back and one for the front for the second one also is splitted into two one for the back and the front so let me show you guys what i did for the back the fabric with the width of 34 inches and the length of nine inches is the one on the table the one i'm holding is the longer one i i am the edge to the end like this and i'm going to place the right side of the smaller one on the table and i'm going to place the right side of this one on it then i'm going to pleat this longer one on the short one then i'm going to top stitch it so i traced the middle of both fabric and i started pleating from the middle so that it will be equal on both sides after pleating everything on the fabric i'm going to top stitch it i'm done with the other side so i'm going to turn it from this side and i'll make sure the pleating is facing the same way i'm going to pleat to the end of this part also I did the same thing for the down part of the front and the back. The only difference is that at the top of the front, I gathered it. While the top of the back, I added an elastic band to it. So this is the front part of this dress. I've joined the half length to the down part of this dress. And this is the back this is the back the half length of the back so i'm going to place the two right sides on each other and i'm going to sew on both sides for the sleeve of this dress my fabric is folded into four already and the length is 10 inches so at the top of the fabric i'll be marking down eight inches then I'm going to bring my main fabric and trace the ammo on the fabric. So I'll be adding an elastic band to both the upside and the down part of my sleeve. So I'm done joining my sleeve to both the front and the back part of this dress. I'm just going to arrange the dress on it, the fabric on each other. I'm going to turn it to the wrong side. That is the two right sides are facing each other. And I'm going to sew the both sides. Then I'm going to m the under of the gown i'm done doing so you can see i attached an elastic band to the sleeve and for my back i top stitch the half length to the down part of the back and i added an elastic band to the waist so this is the finished look of this dress i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed and like this video bye